Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Scene Explorer in 3ds Max. The Scene Explorer is a list showing every single object in your scene. You can access it by clicking the Toggle Scene Explorer button on the main toolbar. For this example, I have it docked on the screen, but you can also undock it and leave it as a floating window, which I recommend if you have more than one screen. In the Scene Explorer window, we can see that each object is listed with an icon indicating the type, like geometry for polygons, meshes, or shapes for splines. This can help you to quickly identify the type of the object. It is also possible to filter these objects by type. For example, by clicking on the geometric icon at the top, it's going to filter out all the polygonal geometry objects from the list. A really important concept in 3ds Max is the modifier stack. This is like a history of all the modifications applied to a selected object. For example, when we select an object, you can see in the modify panel that it started as an editable spline, and then it was modified into a 3ds mesh. But the base object type is still a spline, which is why it appears with a shape icon in the scene explorer. It is also possible to filter out the specific object types, like lights or cameras, by clicking their icons. To focus on one type of object, you can solo it by holding down the Alt key and clicking on its icon. This is useful when you need to isolate some elements in a complete scene. Another important function of the Scene Explorer is managing the visibility and selection of objects. To hide an object in the viewport and prevent it from rendering, click the eyeball icon next to it. To make an object unselectable, which helps to prevent accidental modifications, click the snowflake icon to freeze it. The Scene Explorer also displays hierarchies, showing parent-child links among the objects, which we will cover in a future tutorial. This helps to understand and manage the relationships and dependencies between different objects in your scene. The Scene Explorer is one of those tools that seems simple, but the more you use it, the more powerful it becomes. This tool is great to manage large scenes, allowing you to have a complete control over your projects. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.